Whew, okay. What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. This is uh, the update vlog that I promised you guys for the safe video that I uploaded last. Um, I want to kind of talk about a few things because there's a lot that has happened since the filming of that vlog. The filming of that last vlog that you guys saw has happened a few days ago and since then a lot has happened and I want to explain why I didn't show what was inside the safe in that last vlog. But before I can get to that, I think I need to kind of start from the top and explain the story because there's a lot that's going on right now. There's a lot that you guys don't understand and I think you guys need to hear this and I'm going to do the best that I can to explain what is going on to you guys. Uh, and I think I need to start from the top. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are here watching this video today because you saw my last video where I finally got that abandoned safe open and I ripped the door off but then I didn't show what was inside and you guys saw it in that video that I freaked out. So that's, that's why I'm sure a lot of you guys are here and why a lot of you guys are curious of what's in that safe and I'm going to try to do my best to explain exactly the situation so you guys can best understand this because this is something that has gone a little bit more beyond my expectations of what happened. This is a huge, like, it, it's gone absolutely crazy and I wanna just kinda share the story with you to bring each and every one of you that is watching this up to speed. So, starting from the top, starting from the beginning, we found this safe. It's been a few months since we've had it. Maybe three months ago was the first time we found the safe. We found it uh, in this abandoned town that's close to my house from here and we've been there a few times. We've never gone in the buildings. Uh, until recently uh, for this first video with the safe we finally did go in and we found the safe there we found it under some rubble under the stairs and we figured it was just left there um, it probably wasn't a big deal but we were excited to find something that was pretty cool so we, we brought it back to the house and then from there we did a series of videos of trying to open it but to be honest with you guys I really didn't think there was going to be probably anything in the safe normally when these other youtubers uh, they find a safe or they buy one from like an auction or something and they cut cut it open There's usually like just junk inside or nothing inside. So I figured that's probably true with this one if someone left the safe um, In that town, I'm sure it was just like an old safe that they didn't move because it was too heavy But it was empty so that that's why we tried to that's why we didn't tr like call a locksmith right away to come and open it. That's why we didn't use the plasma cutter the first try and cut it open. We tried a bunch of other different ways and experiments to try to open it. We like used the sledgehammer, we used liquid nitrogen, we used uh, the Hummer trying to drive over it and we even dropped it off like the huge lift. That was probably one of the coolest ways <sighs> to try to open it and um, you know none of them really worked until we finally got into the plasma cutter you know so we got the plasma cutter. You guys were voting for that so that's what we used and it worked really well. We cut right into the safe and that's where things get crazy because like I said, I didn't think there was going to be anything in the safe or if there was it just wouldn't it just be kind of like some junk in there. Um, we ripped the door off and to my surprise there was uh, there was something inside the safe that as you guys saw immediately as my reaction when I saw it, I kind of like I was shocked. I freaked out. I didn't know what to do exactly because I was looking at this and I didn't expect this to be there and I immediately realized that what was in here can cause some serious problems and it might get myself into trouble. Um, it might get me, like I, I, I freaked out. So what I did immediately after the filming of that video, and as you can see I was trying to turn off the cameras and try to end things as quickly as I could, uh, we called the police, we called the authorities to try to get advice to figure out what to do because we didn't know what to do. This is not something that we expected to find in the safe so we called the authorities and they quickly advised us not to show or tell or speak of anything of this i told them that we uh we are youtubers and we film youtube videos and they say they advised us for the safety of ourselves and the people around us and our family to not post anything on the internet until we can get uh get the situation figured out and so that's why the video that i put uploaded last uh, showed everything of me cutting it open just like any other video, but I didn't show what was inside the safe um, We do have video footage of what was in there I had a second camera angle of that safe of the opening scene of the safe where I ripped the door off for the first time And it shows what's inside the safe. I did not include that camera angle in the last vlog on purpose because I was advised by the authorities to leave out the information of what's in this safe for uh, protection of myself and for the well-being of me, for Liz, my family, and even for you guys. So 
That's why I didn't show what was inside this thing. So I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, well go tell me right now. Tell me what's in the safe, show us inside. I know you guys are so curious because you guys have been waiting for such a long time trying to do this and I hate keeping this from you. I want to show you as soon as I can. We are currently working with the authorities. It's been a few days since we called the authorities and brought them to our attention and there's been a lot that's happening off camera that you guys haven't seen and that's what I want to get in today. So a lot has happened. So when the authorities came to the house, uh, we, we explained everything the best we could. We explained where it came from, what was in the safe, we showed them everything and things kind of went a little bit crazy. I'm not sure how much detail I'm allowed to get into just yet, but basically, like, I would, I would love to show you guys what this is, but I don't want to endanger myself. I don't want to cause harm to me and my family or even to you guys, so I can't go into details. I hope you guys understand. We're working on getting approval just to make sure that this whole situation can, can get cleared and then I can upload more scenes and information about it. And that being said, the authorities right now have all my SD cards, they have my hard drives, they even have the hard drives and uh, backups for my computer. So they have all the video footage right now that's dating back all the way from the first safe video that I have. And they're, they're going through the review process of that. They're looking through all the footage to the best that they can. I provided them with everything I could to try to get to the bottom of this. So while they're doing that and I'm hoping that we can get the okay, I'm hoping they're going to say that this is great, that there is no harm, there is no danger, there is no risk, in which case they will return the video footage to me. I will be able to make a video that shows everything in full detail of what is going on. I can show you, I was even filming cameras while the authorities were here checking things out. I'll be able to show you guys what's in the safe. I'll be able to show you guys each and everything. But until I get the okay to do so, I am not allowed to upload any footage to the internet, to YouTube, to social media, any of my accounts. And this is for absolute protection of me, my family, and even you guys. That being said, guys, I even have to be careful with what I'm going to be telling you guys today. I don't want to say something that I'm not supposed to. I don't want to reveal too much and get myself into further trouble than I already am now. But uh, I'm going to try to kind of explain the best I can in the most detail that again because I know you guys have a lot of questions. I know you guys are demanding a lot of answers and I'm going to do the best that I can to update you guys. And believe me guys when I say this, this is not how I wanted things to go. This has taken the turn for the craziest of things that I could have ever imagined. Um, but I, I have a strong feeling that things are going to work out, that I'm going to get the approval. The best case scenario I can get approval is Monday morning. So I'm going to keep you guys updated as soon as I can. And as soon as I get approval, if I do, if and when I get approval of these videos, I'm going to post all the content in full detail as much as I can to show you guys. Because you guys deserve the best. You guys deserve to know what's in the safe. I want to show you the full story of what happened since the last video, dealing with the authorities up until this point. I want to show you absolutely everything. We've been through an absolute ordeal. This whole situation has been really tough because, you know, I'm kind of on my own right now. My family has been out of town. Carter, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Liz. Um, I'm filming an update video for the for my fans. Like, what did you tell them so far? Well, I was just trying to, t to walk through the situation. You're not supposed to talk about it. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying anything I'm not supposed to. I'm just keeping it keeping it general but I need to kind of give them an update so they know what is going on. I don't want to not post a video and not show what's inside the safe. Have everyone so curious freaking out what's Carter, inside and not show for me. I don't want to get in trouble. We're Just not... make sure you're not saying anything you're not supposed to. Yeah I'm not saying anything Liz. I'm fine. But we got to give them an update. I mean what'd you tell them? I was just telling them kind of like some of the stuff that's happened since the last time we filmed. Do you, do you think that's I think it's probably okay right? What do you think? Well they told us not to release any information. Uh, so, yeah. Carter, I don't think you should post this. Okay. Um, well, I think it's important. I think you guys deserve an, an explanation of what's going on. You guys are, I feel like you guys need to know there's been so much that's happened since that I feel like you, you guys deserve to know what has been going on since then. So I'm trying to give you the best update that I can. So I think, I think we should be okay. Okay. As long as you think that we're going to be safe, I yeah. guess. I think I think we'll be okay. I'll, I'll look through the video footage again before I upload it, just to make sure that I, um, we're comfortable with this video, so we can we can keep ourselves safe. But um, guys, I think it's really important for you guys to have this update. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience, your support, and everything. It means the world to us. It's it's so important. You guys are amazing. Each and every one of you guys are absolutely awesome. So thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to keep you guys updated as best as I can. And as soon as we get the okay, and as soon as the footage gets returned back to my possession, I'm going to edit the video as quickly as I can and upload it for you guys to watch. <sighs> Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Your support means everything. Bye.